Now to Lamoille County, where so many folks who were just now recovering from summer floods from the Lamoille River were this week hit all over again. The story tonight from NBC5's Anna Guber reporting from Jeffersonville. Here in Jeffersonville, I spoke with a resident who says his family was still recovering from the impacts the July floods had on their home when the Lamoille River began flooding it again on Monday night. Now he says he's left with feelings of frustration and uncertainty. My wife and I had talked in July about, you know, what to do with the house. Do we sell it? Do we, you know, take the FEMA buyout? Phil Sadowitz it's says it's been a difficult few months. The July floods forcing his family to decide whether to give up their Jeffersonville home or rebuild its entire first floor. But we decided to rebuild it and move back in. He says he was just starting to see a light at the end of a long and exhausting road to recovery when he, his wife and 15 month old daughter visited their home on Sunday. We were here, spent some time here with our daughter, um, just kind of being here and excited about the rebuild and moving back in. It was just a day later that the Lamoille River began to flood again and Sadowitz was left pumping another five feet of water out of his basement. This was all underwater yesterday. He says the second round of flooding has left his family feeling discouraged and questioning the decision they made to keep their home. With this flood happening, you know, five months later, it's that conversation's coming up again. And it's a whole nother set of feelings of, you know, just uncertainty what we should do next. Which Cambridge's town administrator says is a question on the minds of many in the Jeffersonville and Cambridge communities. We were starting to leave that short term recovery from the July flooding and kind of entering long term. And like you mentioned, we're kind of now reopening some of these old wounds and having people kind of go down this path again. But says residents have continued to support each other through the challenges they faced. Especially after the July flooding, we saw lots of people going door to door, volunteers mucking out basements and really kind of coming together to help those people in need. And Sadowit says it's that support from neighbors and his family that has helped him to push forward. You know, we couldn't have done it without them. There's no way. Sadowit says his family hopes to be able to move back into their home sometime in the early spring. In Jeffersonville, Anna Guber, NBC5 News.